What if I was to tell you that the number one place to live in the country is located in Houston, Texas? Would you believe me? Well, it's actually true. Voted several times now. The Woodlands, Texas, which is just north of Houston, was voted the number one place to live in the country. And actually, a couple of times was voted the number one place to raise a family. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break down uh, the five reasons why I believe this is why or this is the case that the Woodlands has ranked so high in all of the United States to live and raise your family. And it's going to come down to five points uh, that really kind of highlight the Woodlands, differentiates the Woodlands from any other place, not only in the country, but in Houston as well. There's really nothing else like it out here. In fact, it's not a city, it's a township. And it started out as a master plan community and then eventually to avoid getting annexed from Conroe, the town just above it, and Spring uh, below it and all the other areas. They really wanted to keep the integrity of what they created out there in the Woodlands because it is so special. They decided to create a township and it was a great idea. Absolutely been able to keep what they have going out there um, that the way that they did this. And so, uh, like I said, I'm gonna break down those five points and we're gonna start with number one right here. My number one point that I'm gonna go through here is gonna be its beauty. So the Woodlands is absolutely gorgeous. And one of the reasons is it's true to its name. So the Woodlands is, uh, it's it, you feel like you're immersed in a forest, right? You are you have trees everywhere. And so when I say it's true to its name, I mean, it's true to its name. Like when you drive through it, you have a reserve over 7,600 acres of just devoted reserves. And so these reserves are gonna be in front of the commercial developments. They're gonna be all through the neighborhoods. They're gonna be in the medians as you drive on the road. And so you literally feel like you're in a tunnel of greenery every time you drive anywhere in the woodlands. And let's just say that the moment you enter into the woodlands, you know. Um, everything from, you know, and again, this is gonna go into my second point here in a minute, but the stop signs are brown, the street lights are brown, Everything uh, in terms of the architecture of your commercial developments are all going to have a very distinct look to it. And all of it was designed, uh, you know, with uh, this intent. It, it was all purposeful. And so that goes into my next point is number two is going to be the design. So I would call it like a urban city lifestyle mixed in with a suburban community or like a typical neighborhood. So most of the woodlands is going to be comprised of your single family homes. It's actually broken into nine different villages. And so I'm going to show you on a map here what those different villages look like and what they're called. And each village has its uh, its own shopping center exclusive to that village so that you just kind of have a very local uh, within five, you know, six minutes of where your home is located. You could go into the shopping center and what that usually is comprised of is a grocery store, a drug store like a CVS or a Walgreens. You're gonna have some fast food, you know, your gas stations. Usually there's a coffee joint, some restaurants, things of that nature that are in these, uh, you know, each village shopping center, so to speak. Also, you have uh, the main amenities that uh, really not only are for the residents, but for everyone in all of Houston like to enjoy because it's so pretty and it offers so much. And so one of them is gonna be the Woodlands Mall. So, you know, it's technically the, I would probably say the second largest mall in Houston. The gallery is actually the largest. It's actually the largest in Texas. However, the Woodlands is much more revered. Like it is just a prettier mall. It's got all the bougie high-end shopping that you could want. And it's just, you know, designed really well. It's really pretty. And so what they've done in the last, uh, I guess, decade now, uh, it seems still recent to me because growing up, it wasn't around. But what they did is they added Market Street around it. So it's kind of this outdoor shopping. Again, you have all this high-end shopping out there. You have beautiful restaurants. Uh, or I'm sorry, I should say, well, they're beautiful, but they're also very tasty, uh, high end, you know, fast food, everything in between. Um, and yeah, so you have all this shopping, everything. They have the waterway that's kind of intertwined through, connected to the mall and Market Street. So it's very pretty. Kind of reminds me of what you have going out in San Antonio with the Riverwalk, except it's prettier. It's a little well more maintained and it's smaller. But the waterway, it's really pretty. Uh, it's all kind of uh, surrounding these areas. And so it kind of adds a certain ambiance. You're going to have public parks 
all around those areas that you can kind of bring the kids to, you know, from open fields to actual playgrounds to memorial areas. And so, you know, there's a lot of really cool aspects to the Market Street area, the waterway and the mall. And that's one of the main amenities that drives, like I said, it's for people that live in the Woodlands, but also a lot of people from outside the Woodlands, uh, such as myself living in Connor. I'm about 10, 15 minutes away from that area. And we enjoy that. Absolutely. We're able to kind of dip in, dip out, enjoy that shopping at the mall when we need it. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's beautiful. And it's probably the only mall I really go to uh, because of, well, it's closest to me, but it's also just the best one in all of Houston at this point in time. But like I said, it is these nine villages that are broken down and all of the master plan community that's turned into this township is 28,000 acres uh, devoted to the Woodlands. I believe the population is around 120,000 people now. And what, uh, one of the cool things is the green belt. They're all, I mean, it's hundreds of miles of green belts. They're all interconnecting each village. And so you could technically just get on this green belt and keep on going, but they're also localized, you know, two routes and green belts that interconnect every neighborhood in each village as well. So whether you want to go on a really long uh, walk or hike or bike ride, you know, on these green belts and they're paved, they're kind of through the woods, but they're also neighboring some of the main streets. So they're really easy to get access in and out of everything's interconnected from the neighborhoods and communities to um you know the villages and so there's just so much of that but additionally uh, again i want to kind of quote some of these uh the number of the sheer number of parks and everything that you have here you have 146 public parks you have seven beautiful golf courses you got 76 tennis courts uh the mitch pavilion all of this was just part of the design but again this kind of flows into my my next point uh, uh, of going into number three on why I think Woodlands was voted the number one place to live. But real quickly, if you're enjoying this content and this is valuable to you, please hit the subscribe button. That way you can get notified. I'm gonna be posting uh, videos of North Houston, all North Houston videos, real estate related. And so if you find this valuable, please hit that subscribe button, comment below. I'd love to hear your two cents on the Woodlands, whether you live here, or you're interested in moving here. And if you are interested in moving here, uh, whether you're, you know, two years out or you want to move tomorrow, I've got a link below that you can, um, you know, fill out, click the link, fill it out, and we can set up a time to talk. I'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, I was born and raised out in Houston. My name is Mark Archer. I'm a local realtor here. Been a realtor for the better part of four, going on five years. And I grew up in the spring area, so I know this area like the back of my hand, and I would love to help you make a smooth move down here to the Houston, Texas area. Now, while I serve all of Houston, my specialty is North Houston, hence the name of my channel. So moving on to point number three, it's actually gonna be the amenity. So there's second to none out here in the Woodlands. There's literally nothing else like it in all of Houston. Kind of talked about this a little bit. The closest thing to the Woodlands, I'd say, is maybe Cinco Ranch out in the Caden area. Again, that's a completely uh, developed and finished master plan community, but it still doesn't hold a candle, in my opinion, to the Woodlands because of the Woodlands beauty, the trees, uh, everything that it has to offer. Uh, so going into the amenities, you know, we're going to go into some of the touch points I, I mentioned earlier. So obviously you have the mall, you have Market Street, you have the waterway, things of that nature. But you also have tons of parks. You have 146 public parks. You have, I think, 14 pools, 76 tennis courts. So it's kind of a racket club area if you're into tennis. Uh, you got seven beautiful uh, golf courses, some public, some private. You've got Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. I believe it's number two in the country for the largest amphitheater. And so some of the biggest headliners come out there and play. It's open space, obviously being an amphitheater. Great venue, tons of lawn space, but you also have chairs you can sit in. And I mean, it's kind of right there adjacent to the waterway and the mall and all of that where that's happening. So I literally, unless I have to, because of the musician I want to see is going to be playing at the Toyota Center or something. I mean, literally all my needs are met in the Woodlands. I never really have to go to downtown Houston for anything because of the amenities that they have there. You know, on top of that, you've got, of course, the nine different villages. Each one has its own little shopping center. And so, it, you know, and what they've done in turning from a master plan community into a township is they actually assessed the HOAs into the taxes. And so you still have one of the lowest tax rates out there because it was developed from like the mid 70s. I want to say they started and broke ground in 1974, went all the way into the mid 2000s. So there is no new construction. It's one of the cons of the woodlands. However, uh, the tax rates lower because uh, everything's been kind of developed. Mud bonds have been, you know, paid down if they even exist in some of the areas. And so uh, what they did is they assessed the HOA through it. So you don't have to worry about separate HOA fees. Uh, it's less strict. However, 
Also, everything just kind of still keeps its uniqueness. Everything looks the same. Everything is designed so that you know when you roll into the woodlands, you know you're there. So um, in, in terms of amenities, it's there, it's second to none. Everything you want and could possibly have out there is there in the woodlands. So going into number four on why the woodlands was ranked so high, and I think this is a big part of it, are going to be the schools. So the schools are nationally ranked. Again, I don't want to butcher these stats, but... Um, when I'm helping people relocate to Houston and they say, Mark, I want to live in the woodlands. If not the number one reason, the number two reason school. So they're nationally ranked schools. You are part of Conroe ISD. However, Conroe ISD, not to knock it, they're A plus rated or A rated partly or largely due to the woodland schools. So College Park, Woodlands High School, both nationally recognized schools. Uh, you, you know, if you want to check out a resource called niche.com so you can do your own research on it. So as a realtor, I obviously have to be careful about how much I share and what opinions I provide, but I'm just being factual here. It's number, uh, let's see, uh, the top 40 high schools in Texas out of close to 2,000 schools in Texas, it ranks number 40. And then um, let's see here, it's number around 370, 368 in the country out of 20 over 20,000 schools in the country. So it's nationally ranked for a public ISD school, right? And some of the things they're really known for are things like college prep, uh, athletics. They have a really good, you know, football team and all the different athletics that you would want to get into. They offer those opportunities for your kids. And so, yeah, they, they're really good at college prep. They have a lot of dual credit classes and there's ways that you can, you know, get some early credits for college uh, with some of the courses that you're taking in school when you get into the later years of uh, your high school years. Um, and so, you know, they just, um, they have a lot to offer in the way of schools. And I'd say ADISD and then Woodlands, you know, those are kind of the two top ranked schools out here in the Houston area that clients just seem to, you know, uh, come out here for that reason. And so I know we're not the best, you know, in all of the country, but a lot of our clients relocating here, um, that's the, you know, the reason, especially the Woodlands are the schools. So I think by now they have three different high schools that you can go to. College Park's gonna be the newest one and the Woodland High School is kind of the OG high school. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a great feeder school to get into. Going on to my number five point, it's gonna be the location. So the location, in my opinion, is really good. It's really central. I'd say it's about 25, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes with horrible traffic north of Houston. It's centralized on 45. So I-45 there is kind of one of the main highways or veins in and out and so it'll take you all the way down to galveston and all the way up to dallas and beyond and so it's a great connector road uh to all the other tollways and things of that nature so now you have the 99 tollway running kind of uh east and west all the way down to the south ends of town it's one of our latest tollways and since that tollway came in it's really enabled a lot of people to commute and live in the woodlands because the woodlands is maybe uh 10 minutes north of the tollway and so you can kind of hop on 45 pop down to the tollway go east or west and get where you need to be whether it be Hamba or cyprus or maybe you need to get over to kingwood on the east side or caney get there that much faster now with that tollway and so it's very centralized location in terms of getting to the airport if you're a traveler uh, for work or for pleasure and want to be somewhat close to the international airport push there you're about 20 25 minutes away from the airport so most people find that a pretty reasonable commute because you really don't want to be like on top of the airport listening to all the planes and all that you want to be close enough to catch that flight on short notice if you have to and so the woodlands really kind of gives you that um gives you access to all the major highways 45 is a free highway by the way but you know obviously when connecting to the tolls and all that there is a cost to it and i always say you know what is your time worth because the tollways out here do happen to help you get from one side to the other. There's a little saying out here in Houston, Houston's an hour away from Houston. And so these tolls kind of help you get maybe from the woodlands down to Katy a lot faster. And so for that reason, it's just uh, very centralized. Additionally, you have these towns uh, and suburbs surrounding the woodlands. So if you go into the back end of the woodlands, you have the new Magnolia area, tons of shopping and things to do out there just stepping outside of the woodlands briefly if you need it. And so let's say you live at the back of the woodlands, like, uh, you know, Indian Springs or uh, Alden Bridge, that little community they have in your village is, it's pretty small, right? So in order to get to the main shopping, you kind of have to get up to the front of the woodlands and to travel from the back of the woodlands all the way to the front could take you some time. So being backed up to the new Magnolia area, the 
there's a lot of big box shopping. There's a Target, Bed Bath Beyond, uh, Home Depot, all that good stuff right there connected to the back in New Magnolia. So you got Magnolia just to the back of it, Montgomery just to the northwest of it. You got Conroe just above you and Spring just below you, as well as Tomball, uh, kind of adjacent, uh, kind of hugging it uh, on the kind of the southwest side of it. So you got all these towns and with all these towns, these towns also offer different opportunities, different amenities, different shopping, different things to do. For example, uh, being in the Woodlands, you're only about 25, 30 minutes away from the lake. So Lake Conroe is probably the prominent lake in all of Houston that's just fun to go to on, um, you know, whatever you want to do. You want to swim, you want to get in a boat, you want to ski, you want to fish, uh, you want to just hang out and go, you know, to the marina and, you know, enjoy some nice fine dining right off the lake, picturesque sunset views. Uh, you're about 25 minutes away from that. Uh, so, you know, you've got, you know, of course, other, uh, you got Lake Woodlands and things of like that in the woodlands. Uh, it's not really for swimming. It's a much more smaller man-made lake for like, and you can't even do like motorized boats. It's so small. More gonna be for like canoeing and rowing, uh, things of that nature. But you also have Hughes Landing in the woodlands, which is off a body of water. Again, man-made, much smaller. So if you wanna go to a lake, like a legitimate, I think it's over 20,000 acre lake, uh, you wanna go to Lake Conroe. You're just under 30 minutes away, about 25 minutes away from Lake Conroe. So now, the location of the woodlands couldn't be better. In fact, like I said, it really does attract a lot of people outside of the woodlands into it. It's kind of one of the cons, and I'll have a video on that, just like the pros and cons of the woodlands in another post. But, you know, it really does offer uh, just a good spot to get wherever you need to go within a 30 minute radius, I would say. Even getting into downtown Houston, you're south of Conroe. So, like, for me in Conroe, it's about a 40 minute drive. Uh, into Houston without any traffic. But um, if you're in the woodlands and you want to get to downtown Houston where the Heights or maybe some of those areas, Riverside, you get there in probably a uh, quicker time, maybe 30, 35 minutes without traffic, uh, depending on what side you're trying to get to. So the location couldn't be better. So all in all, I think these are the five reasons I would say. So anyways, all that to say, the woodlands is a very special place, uh, not only in all of the country, but here in Houston as well. There's just nothing else like it. And until next time, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to uh, click the link below if you are interested in moving to Houston. I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to uh, you know, have a discussion about your move here. Like I said, whether you're two years out or you want to move tomorrow, I'm here to help you. Call, text, email, or hit that link below. Thanks, guys.